why do we need a con ops? So some transit agencies, when they begin this, uh, begin down the path uh, of deploying a CBTC solution on their property, they just assume that the engineers, they understand their operational environment uh, and, and they dive right into a technical specification to write a CBTC uh, technical spec. This assumption is it's wrong because they are not the frontline personnel who are dealing with the issues day in and day out. Um, they, they, are, they are in the background supporting the frontline personnel. Now, what do I mean by frontline personnel? They are the people such as central control operators, the train drivers, the maintenance personnel, the instructors, the passengers, people who are using the system every single day, trying to deal with the issues to get, keep the system going uh, and get riders to where they need to go. Uh, so a transit agency, they need to be able to extract the needs and priorities and concerns of the frontline personnel who are operating the system. And that is the point of the, of the con op. That is the primary objective of the con op, is to pull and extract these end user requirements uh, from these frontline personnel. Now, the impact of not creating a con op is you'll be missing functionality that your transit agency needs. Functionality that will surface towards the end of the project when the frontline personnel start to actually play with the system and, and ask questions such as, such as, I'd like to do this, or why can't the system do that? Uh, and by this point in the game, it's too late uh, because the, the cost to implement uh, functionality at the end of the project in the field deployment space, as you all very well know, is very expensive. And in some cases, it may not even be possible. So a CBTC solution will operate less than what was expected of it. And a con ops is there to pull these sorts of user type requirements uh, out of the frontline personnel before the project begins. Now keep in mind, this document is not an engineering document in the sense that you're not writing requirements like the system shall do this. If, you, if you're a system engineer, you know that word shall. It has a very specific connotation attached to it. This is not a technical specification. It is a document written for the lay person uh, that can be understood by anyone who picks it up and get an idea of what it is that the transit agency needs. And this is a very important point uh, to keep in mind. 